Hi, this is Saev Morton with the daily update on Eurofix. I post my exclusive market overviews with the key political and economical events, charts and important levels on the forexpsami.com forums weekly. This short video is a response to rapidly changing situation on the currency markets and should help you to stand top of the game and be profitable. I suggest you to visit forexpsami.com forum and read my analysis for the week before watching this daily video. Hello everybody, welcome to the technical analysis of the Forex market from the ForexPSM.com. As usual, we'll continue to talk about the euro currency and start from the daily time frame. Well, on the daily time frame, finally has appeared a significant moment that points on the potential end of the retracement and continuation to the downside. That's what we have discussed yesterday. If you remember, we said that one of the important moments that was during the previous trading session is right here. It was the crossing of the price action with the red line. Red line is the MACD predictor indicator. And we said that if market will show will show some kind of stop grabber, the pattern that will show the failure trend shifting, well, this will be the first signal that probably market is ready to continue move down. That has happened. So you can see that in the beginning of the trading session, market has deeply penetrated this red line showing that trend has turned bullish. So the breakout traders who, tra who, tra who trade on the unconfirmed signals probably jumped in for the possible continuation to the upside. But at the end of the day, price has returned right back and closed below this red line. So those who's, who entered on the unconfirmed trend shifting now are trapped in the wrong positions. That's why it's called the stop grabber. Because this is the failure pattern and uh, it trapped it traps the traders with the wrong positions who use the unconfirmed trend shifting to the bullish during the inside the trading session. But at the end of the day, you can see that trend shifting hasn't been confirmed. So where those who enter on that signal have placed their stops? Right. Somewhere below that swing low. That's logical. And the minimum target of the stop grabber is taken out of that low. But at the same time, this pattern tells us that since market is ready to continue move to the downside and take out that loss, it probably will reach our medium term, term tar target on the weekly time frame. This is the greater ABCD move. This is, by the way, the CD leg of our ABCD pattern. Okay? And it starts, it stands at 128.30. It's right here. Also, very close to that area stands another one. It's 1618 extension from that pattern. A, B, C top. Market has hit 618. Retracement. 100% retracement. Now it proceeded lower and the next area is 128.84. Also, if you will read our weekly research or maybe you have read it already, you will you should understand why we also said that probably market could even proceed to the 127.50 because this is another target on the weekly time frame so market is could proceed a bit lower but still that area the market stands currently is the strong area of support on the monthly chart. So very probable that when the market will hit that area, after that could be some significant retracement to the upside. But this is this analysis is beyond the scope of this current research. It's a bit too early to talk about that. Currently we just could notify that on the daily time frame we see the clear sign that probably market is ready to continue to the downside and the nearest target to downsides this low. And probably market will proceed lower to the 128.30, 128.80 area, it's right there, inside this area. Okay, the failure point of that pattern is the high of this candle, it's right here. So if market will reverse back and take out that high, then probably yes, we will see ABCD or some retracement to the high levels, to probably this confluence resistance area, at, at minimum. Okay, now since that is our working swing to the downside, we should search for the possibility to enter based on that swing to the downside, that swing of the previous day. So let's take a look on the intraday charts. On the 4 hour time frame you see the trend also has turned bearish and market has accomplished the target that we have discussed yesterday. Look at this pattern. A, B, C bottom. Acceleration from the 618 to the 100%. We said that probably market, since this is CD leg is much faster than A, B, all that stuff we have discussed yesterday, market probably proceed higher. The minimum target is 132.05. So that has happened. The market has touched it and collapsed down. Well, now our working swing is right here. From that high to that low, the nearest area of resistance 
it's very close to the weekly pivot point and probably market if it will continue move to the downside will stop retracement to the upside right here because daily trend is bearish for our time frame has turned bearish market stands not at ever sold so that tells us that if any retracement will come then it probably will be a shallow it should not be too deep to the upside because this is the continuation of the bearish trend on the daily time frame that is the solid pattern that has been formed on the daily time frames the stop grabber well probably uh, it's better to search for the possibility to enter on the short side of the market right here around that area on the hourly time frame we see another a b c d pattern that we have discussed yesterday also on the hourly time frame a b c bottom 618 100% once it 1618, 132.20. So market has hit it almost pips to pips and returns to the downside. What we see now? Market turns to some consolidation, some retracement. The probable retracement again, target right, right here. We'll to take a look at this pattern A, B, C bottom, 618, target 130.83. 131106. So that is some kind of the agreement with the 38 resistance on the whole swing to the downside and near the weekly pivot point. Probably market could stop even here since this is plunged down was really solid. So that is just is up to you where we, you will try to enter here or maybe here. But at the failure point, absolute failure point of that pattern that could tell us that probably market still will continue to the upside is this high, 132.24. Well, but in, in general, if market even will show the retracement high and break out that level, 131.53, well, this already will be the sign that something, something is wrong. So th that is, will be uncommon, unnatural price action uh, for the continuation of the bear trend on the daily time frame. It's very too deep retracement. Well, I suppose that if market will show retracement just to that area and re reverse to the downside, that will be perfect. So that's current view on our on the situation. By the way, on the hourly time frame, I forget to say, uh, not on the hourly, on the daily time frame. That take a look at this level. We said that if market will show retracement just to that level, that area between this swing low, okay, since this was the initial point of the butterfly, and that swing low, the previous lows, so just retest these lows from the other side and continue move down. That will be will be perfect for the bears. So currently, it's it looks like that. That is very important for the. A confidence of that bear trend to the downside. Okay. So that's all for today. Well, search for the possibility to enter on the short side of the market because market now shows really, uh, real some significant patterns uh, on the daily time frame uh, that points that probably market will proceed lower to the our medium term target. It's around. 2830, 2880, but maybe even to the 2750 based on the weekly analysis that we have made during the previous weekend.